Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. Today I'm going to teach you how to make PC application that is going to communicate with your ESP microcontroller via USB. This is going to be a two-step process. First we are going to deal with ESP code and later on we are going to deal with PC code. And for the purpose of coding for PC we are going to use C programming language. But you could actually use any other programming language with same capabilities. And I have to tell you that I have connected the potentiometer to my microcontroller. So that is really simple setup. Just connect 3.3 volts and ground to side pins of your potentiometer. And middle pin of your potentiometer connect to analog pin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my potentiometer around and I want to print out value in percentage. So for this purpose, first I'm going to create integer pin that is going to be A0. So A0 it's uh, analog pin on my uh, ESP8266 D1 Mini Pro microcontroller and in void loop I'm going to initialize uh, serial communication with baud rate of uh, 9600 and I'm going to set pin mode of my pin A0 to input so we are going to use it for a reading uh, go to void loop and in here we are going to create double variable call it percent or however you like then we have to cast to double analog read value from our pin a0 and we are going to divide that, actually we don't need new line, there is enough space in here. You are going to divide that by 10, 24. So what about this calculation? 10, 24, it's 1024 divided by 100. So in that way, when we divide the analog reading result by a 10, 24, we are going to get readings in percentage. Next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to print this percent and I'm going to make delay of 1000 milliseconds all right now I'm going to upload this code all right everything is working I'm going to open my serial monitor and we are reading 41.6%. Uh, I'm going to turn it right. So 60, 79, 95. Let's go left. I'm reading 33%. Okay, this is fine. This is working example. So now we are going to create a PC application that is going to read those values. Eventually we are not going to need the Arduino IDE or serial monitor, but in this way we are still going to be able to use USB for communication. So we could read from microcontroller or write to it. And I have to say for this purpose we are using a Termius.h. And that library is really huge and it's strongly recommended for you to read some documentation about it because there you could find many handy features. For the purpose of this episode, I am going to make the simplest code possible in order not to confuse you and to make functional project as fast as possible. So first thing that we are going to do in here, we already uh, have some uh, basic uh, C project structure. Now I'm going to include many headers, stdio.h, std lib.h termius.h fcntl.h system types System stat string dot h and 
unistd.h. All right, let's go in our int main. And first we are going to create two integers. One for communication and one for a number of bytes that we are reading uh, from uh, serial communication. Now we need two terminal structures. One is going to be old settings and another new settings. So with first one, we are going to read default settings. With new one, we are going to create settings that we want. And later on, when we are done with our communication, we are going to set these old settings back. But first I have to create more something in here. So I need to define bout rate, but this number needs to start with a capital B. And my bout rate is going to be 9,600. I'm going to explain everything in a moment. And I need to define device. Device is going to be uh, provided at string uh, and we are going to set path for my device is going to be dev tty usb0. So with device you have to provide the exact path to device you want to communicate with. On my PC with uh, Linux operation system my USB it's uh, named like this so dev tty usb0. Maybe if you have Windows, you would have in here something like COM1, COM2 or something like that. And baud rate uh, needs to be the same on your PC side and on your microcontroller side. You could actually choose any other settings, but I'm quite comfortable with 9600. All right. After this uh, Termios uh, structure, I'm going to create one chair array and I'm going to call it buffer like this. 100 elements that's totally fine more than enough and now we are going to establish communication so i'm going to use my uh, con variable and i'm going to use function open like in case when you are opening a file so first we are going to provide device so this is this device path and now we have to provide two flags so first one is going to be o r d w r this means reading writing or o no cty that's one so basically what is this with the uh, first flag we are setting our communication to reading writing so we are uh, able both to write and to read from our usb and this second flag means that we don't want to give control to our uh, tty and the next line we are going to check for state of our connection object. So if it's uh, less than zero, that means that something is wrong. And first thing that we are going to do, we are going to write error of device and we are going to return minus one. Okay. So as you see, I'm not explaining every detail because I presume that you already know how to make some C applications. And after that is done, make some space. And now we are going to save our Termios settings. So with function TC, get attribute. First, we are going to provide our connection. And then we are going to provide path to our Termios structure. So path to old settings. In this way, all of settings of our communication are going to be stored in all setting structure. And now we are going to prepare our new setting structure with B0. I'm just going to clear this. I'm going to provide path of new settings and size of new settings and that's fine okay that part it's done and the next part we are going to set flags for our new settings so what i'm going to do i'm going to use my new settings first that we are going to deal with it's c c flag and now we are going to add some settings first is going to be bound rate or cr ts CTS. Next one, it's CS8. 
next one is C local and finally C read you already know what is baud rate and this uh, CRT uh, SCTS means that we have a hardware flow control uh, CS8 means that we are dealing with 8-bit communication C local means that this is a local connection so we are not using modem and C read means that we could uh, read the data from incoming communication next one that we are going to use its new settings dot C I flag EGN pair or ICRNL and uh, these two are for housekeeping stuff in this way we are ignoring bytes with parity errors next one new settings C O flag set it to zero with this flag we are setting that we are going to have raw output and next one new setting C L flag is going to be I cannon and this is for disabling all of uh, echo functionality in next part we are going to clean the line and we are going to apply these settings okay so first we are going to use function TC flush first we are going to provide our connection and then TCI flush all right now TC set attributes first argument is going to be connection second argument is going to be TCSA now and third argument address of our new settings all right and now we are ready for communication I am going to use our variable res we are going to read from our connection into buffer 100 bytes all right and in next line i'm going to say buff of res is going to be nullify and as you know in this way we are going to terminate string because if for example we receive uh, 50 bytes that means that uh, variable res is going to hold value of 50 but element of char array with index of res is going to be one immediately after the end of content we received and if that is done I am going to print result out print f so we are going to say percent s and we are going to provide our buffer like this and after that is done I'm just going to uh, set our old settings back and our application is done so I'm going to use function tc set attributes I'm going to remove all of this all right so for our connection set tc tcsa now and address of all settings all right i'm going to save this and our application is done now i have uh, here a simple make file with a simple compiling uh, instruction so i'm going to open my terminal i'm going to make this app all right and i'm going to call main.bin let's see what we are going to get we got uh, 33.79 and now i'm going to turn the wheel of my potentiometer a little bit towards right and i'm going to execute this application once again okay we got 57.13 let's try it again 80.08 now i'm going to open again my serial monitor to see what we are going to get 79.98 so minimal difference okay i'm going to uh, turn it left now to see what we are going to have 53.52 okay and i'm going to execute this application once again one final time 
Aha, uh -huh. with these settings, we cannot read together with serial monitor. We have to close a serial monitor. So we had 53.52 and I'm going to execute this application once again. 53.52. Once again, 52, 53.52. So everything is just right. So guys, this is the basic story about communication of your PC and your microcontroller via USB. And from this moment on, you could do all sorts of things. For example, you could create GUI in some other programming language and you could use this C application to be executed in background. So you could get the effect of uh, readings from a microcontroller in real time. Or you could do something else, depends on your creativity. So guys, uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.